Hello, welcome back. It's Tennille J, makeup artist from Australia and have been for about 18 years. I'm gonna show you this look on the gorgeous Ebony. It's a hot girl summer makeup look. It's fresh skin, dewy skin, well, luminous skin, but it's got that sexy smoky eye. So let me talk you through. It's a lot easier than what you think. So first up, I cleanse the skin with some micellar water, which is what I do every time, cleanse the skin. And I use my little powder puffs actually because I actually forgot my makeup pads and they worked a treat. Then I use the um, serum from Makeup Forever. This is gorge, a great product to use underneath your makeup to prep that skin. And I'm giving her a little bit of a massage little lymphatic drainage massage and you want to work it out from the center of the face out to the ears and then you can work it also down the neck which i often do just to de-puff the skin i use my hands i always ask the client are they happy for me to use their hands and she was absolutely a-okay i use some eye cream i use some lip cream charlotte tilbury both of those and then now going in with some silk canvas from toucha just to Minimize any pores through the center, which I mean she doesn't really have it, but it just helps to reduce any shine Now I'm going in with the rare beauty illuminating primer a really great universal primer um, It's stunning gives the skin a gorgeous glow and then we're going to head to the brows after I prime and I'm using the Alias brow gel by brow cove a really great brow gel as it gives the it has like a little bit of a fiber in there so it fluffs out the brow um, and it doesn't make it look super laminated although you can get that if you really press the brows down but I'm not really into that look at the moment I like more of a fluffy brow something that looks more natural and then I'm going in with the billion dollar brow powder in taupe and I'm just loving a powder at the moment again it just looks a bit softer using the laying low eye primer by Mac Love this color. I've probably used it in every single video so far. It's a good eye primer at the moment. Although I want us to try the Smashbox one, which I just actually got given that one. So I'm keen to give that a go. But now I'm going in with a eyeliner by Hourglass and it is a bronzy eyeliner. All the details of the products that I use will be in the description. So um, rather than ask in the comments, they will be in the description, but I'm taking this all along that lower lash line and then winging out that eye makeup from the outer corner. So I'm getting that really kind of cat eye look and I'm blending it out with my Rescue Smudger brush. This is one of my Tennille J brushes. I have my own brush collection, just if, if you didn't know. Um, and I'm just kind of buffing that into the lash line and smudging it out. But I, again, you'll see in most of my makeup tutorials, I always use like a pencil when I'm creating like a stencil for my makeup, I just find that they really help to create the look that I want. Now I'm using the Soft Brown Eyeliner by Mario, Makeup by Mario. It is hard to get when I stocked up on these pencils. I think I bought like three or four because I actually love the color. They're a really nice soft brown. Um, and then I'm going in with the Radiance Bronzer from Laura Mercier beautiful bronzer it's got um they are i think they're baked and they're just a really really fine and they have a great color payoff so i'm taking that all through the crease and into the inner corner of that eye there as well now the brush i am using is the number eight crease and apply brush so it's a flat brush but it is fluffy so it's really great to kind of get into that crease area as well as underneath the eye because you'll get that precision but you also still get that fluffy kind of edge, if that makes sense. So I'm taking that underneath the eye and literally that's pretty much the look. You pop it on a little bit of mascara and you're gonna get that smoky kind of look, but it's still soft. All right, now I'm going in with a little cream bronzer. Um, I can't say what this bronzer is because I am testing some out, but it's a cream bronzer and the tone is probably a little bit too yellow. However, it kind of melted into the skin, so I kind of vibed it by the end of it. So it, she has got more of an olive skin tone, so she can pull off more of a yellowy kind of bronzer. Um, but that I just got my little cream buffer brush and just melted that into the skin. And then I'm going in with my all over eye brush. This is the number six brush and I'm using some concealer. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Radiance um, number five 
it's the shade number five concealer and popping that through the center of the eyes um, of the face sorry and really just I want it to be a nice kind of soft coverage so it's not too heavy and that's why I'm using this little fluffy brush it's a natural hair brush and it kind of disperses the product really beautifully and evenly and kind of blends as I go she doesn't have much discoloration around the eye area so it's not like we need to add heaps of um, correcting concealers or anything like that I am taking a little bit of the soft matte concealer by NARS in the shade ginger just around the um, chin just because she has a few little blemishes here and there um, and always going back over with my cream buffer brush and then my base brush to kind of mold those two together the the concealer and the bronzer then I'm going in with the peach pop by Charlotte Tilbury this is the new matte blush it is absolutely stunning I love the pink pop the peach pops equally as nice um, but I am loving a little pink moments here and there. So, but today I thought I'd mix it up. Going back to the peach, popping it on the heights of the cheek and a little bit, only a little bit into the apple of the cheek. And then I'm going back in with my all over eye blender brush and just again, fusing the blush with the concealer. Again, always blending, We're always blending just to make sure that it looks completely seamless. Here we go with my favorite little powder puff. This is from Tennille J from me. I bought this out. It's a velvet powder puff and it just disperses the product so nicely. And you can see it just blurs the under eye so nicely. And I'm using the Givenchy Prism Libra powder. And again, this powder just works so beautifully with a powder puff. You can see the difference there. One side blurred. It just looks really seamless. And the other side looked a little bit like she's having a sweat. We don't want that in the photo shoot. We're doing a hot summer girl shoot, but we want like, you know, not sweaty at the gym vibe. We want luminous skin, beautiful skin, um, but just removing that shine because in a photo shoot, when you've got all the bright lights, that'll just pop up a lot. And we want the shine in the, in the cheek. I dusted it off with my highlight brush, number five brush. And then I'm also powdering that lip because I feel like my pencil will stay on a lot better when I have a bit of a drier lip. So I just kind of made sure that it was a little bit more matte there. And then I'm going in with this pencil from Wicon, an Italian brand, and it is the shade Golden Brown. <sighs> Super upset because I left it in the car the other day and it melted. So I'm going to have to order more of those. It's a great color, really nice color. Um, it's kind of like the cork lip liner by um by mac but like a, sh a few shades lighter so the tones lighter um and i'm cleaning that up with my little lip diffuser brush and define brush i'm using the defining and i'm kind of blending that in place with the dif diffusing end just to make sure it kind of blends into her lip i love a lip liner i don't always go for a lipstick i feel like lip liners last a lot better than lip lipsticks and again I like to blend my lip liner into the natural lip color so it looks a little bit more natural now I'm going in with the Clinique bronzer this has been discontinued in Australia unfortunately it is a great little gel line um, gel bronzer it works great for freckles so I'm really upset that I can't get any more of this, but I did stock up a lot on it. I used to use this a lot on the face, but I find that it's not great on the skin as it's not really water resistant. However, it's a really great product to use for your freckles. Um, great color. It's got like a reddish brown color. So I'm using my little Q-tips. These uh, cotton tips, these are the extra small pointed tips, which you can get at my website and then I'm going with these lashes they're like little hybrid lashes and I'm just using 12 11s and 10s to build up the lash these are from Amazon um, but my favorites are you can get these at Harbor Beauty um, they sell them as well but um, you can find these a lot around they're really great they're really minimal just a final touch, a little bit of extra mascara. I always love a second coat. And then I'm placing a little bit on those bottom lashes. And now I'm actually just, I felt like I just need to step up the under eye a little bit. So I used that matte brown from the Mario palette and just popping that, just like patting it along that lash line just to enhance 
her lower lash line. I don't know, I just felt like she could really pull it off. She's got those beautiful eyes. Um, and then I'm using a little bit of the Give Me Some Bronzer by MAC. This is just like, I just love this as a finishing product. I just sweep that underneath that lash line just to kind of smoke it up a little bit more. And it's that color that kind of just still looks natural, you know? Give me some bronzer. It's just one of my staple bronzers. And I feel like the blending, the powders blends like a dream. It blends over creams. It's just amazing. Finishing off, I curled the hair. We did a little bit of a wave, adding some texture spray. Um, if you don't have a texture spray in your life, what are you doing? Honestly, get a texture spray. It's like a dry shampoo slash a hairspray mixed into one. And it gives your hair just that movement. Look at this doll. She's beauty and she's grace. She's Miss United States, although she's from Australia. So she's from from Victoria in Australia. So we'll say she's Miss Miss um, Victorian State. Um, that is it. That is the look. Let me know if you enjoyed that tutorial from me. It is your host, Tanil J. Subscribe, like this video, give me a comment if you loved it. We'd love to hear from you.